I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Holly's sister, Lily. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he, if he cares about it, if he even gives a shit. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! What monsters are you? What horrible, evil, villainous, warped monsters are you? Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? The rules are the rules. I don't get to make them, I just enforce them. Bull shit. <laughs> Time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Bigby, wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. <laughs> And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. Please, Sheriff, relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really, a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. Don't misunderstand the situation here. We? are not friends, and you're in no position to offer me anything. On the contrary, Sheriff. And I don't wish to contradict you here, but your initiative and mine have been friendly for a long while now. Ever since I came aboard these shores, you know, Fable Town's been very accommodating of my humble ventures. Never said a bad word. That was Crane who let you do whatever you wanted. I'm not Crane. No, you're not. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Well, Sheriff, for the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You forget what happened at the Pudding and Pie? You and your goons tried to kill me! I'm truly sorry for that whole debacle. It was not my intention to put you or Miss White in any sort of danger. My wish was merely to take Crane, Sheriff. And as soon as the assignment grew out of control, I put a stop to it. I know that that doesn't change what happened to you. And I can only offer my sincerest apologies. I don't really give a shit if you're sorry. 
crooked man. No, I understand, of course. And I hope you believe me when I say, Sheriff, that I sincerely mean to make it up to you. The recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late, I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you, and to assure you that it's over with. You really don't need to worry yourself further. I already know who did it. Forgive me, Sheriff, for doubting your acumen. But who do you think committed these crimes? It's been a long couple of days for you. Perhaps you've become somewhat unscrewed. Don't give me this employee bullshit. I know it was you. <laughs> what must I say to convince you that I'm innocent, dear? It wasn't me. I have complete respect for you and your job, I really do, but I'm sorry. I simply can't divulge the transgressor. You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No, I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? You know who did it. Now tell me. No fucking way I'm telling you anything. After what you did. That's enough. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. But in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. However, like I said, I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie, you got what you wanted, so just... Sit down. Now. Yeah, I killed him, so what? You should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. Get your hands off me! Look, the fact is... George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And then you attempt told me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis. You're just gonna let him do this? So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? Take this fucker. Take all of them. I didn't fucking Don't start make this. any trouble, Georgie. No deals. It's over, so get up. I'd advise against that approach, Bigby. You can't just hand me over! What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us! For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with them, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You can't give a fuck if I'm the one who... the shit do you think you fuck us out? Get the fuck out of here! I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him! Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? Yeah, what the fuck? You're gonna make sure we all go down this shitter with you? Get the fuck away from me! He's the one you fucking want! This could have gone so well. But you just had to complicate things. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? <laughs> Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. <clears throat> Oh, 
Over here! You're done, Wolf! Come on, we're pretty much done here. I'd like to say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. No! 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 What am I gonna do now, eh, Vivian? What the fuck? You're too late, Bigby. She's dead. What did you do? <clears throat> that made you feel better. I'm really not in the mood, Big Bear. <clears throat> so why don't you just fuck off? Stop <clears throat> talking, Georgie. <sighs> oh, you think that'll help? I told you I don't want to fucking talk. 
Especially not with a piece of shit like you. Tell me what you did. You think that'll help? You still haven't learned, have you? Still the same old fucking moron. She killed herself. She did it. Just pulled her ribbon off right there. Didn't fucking matter what I said. She always did what she wanted. She just... Right in front of me. Don't lie to me, Georgie. <clears throat> she said she'd had enough. She couldn't live with what she'd done. She's the original Big Bit. The girl with the ribbon. Couldn't take it off. Couldn't talk about it. We used hers to make the rest. It started as part of the gimmick, right? Discretion is our guarantee. You know, she came up with that. It was her idea. Whoever thought it would end this way. Fuck. You're a fucking liar. Believe what you want, then. This was our place, Big B. She was in it from the beginning. But then everything went to shit. This was just the final fucking straw. She felt responsible for Faith and Lily. <coughs> what her ribbons did to them. Said she'd rather die on her own terms. For something good. Or at least something close to it. So she ended it. Oh, it didn't matter if that left me to deal with this fucking mess. We promised we'd look out for each other. So what the fuck is this? Just leaving me here. You're a dead man, Georgie. I know. Sheriff. Look, I know you think it's my fault. That I killed him for some twisted pleasure of mine. But I... <coughs> I did what I had to. You don't always get a choice. Sometimes you just have to do what you're told. And then it comes back to bite you in the ass because some good-for-nothing <coughs> crooked bastard decides you're not worth shit anymore. Don't give me that bullshit. You're responsible. Like hell I am. Some of the girls decided to pull a runner on us. And the crooked man didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. So he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. I had to do it. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill those girls. And then he fucking sold me out. <coughs> None of this would have happened if it wasn't for that bastard. It's his fucking fault. That's not my problem. Oh, I get it. When a pretty little girl shows up at your door wanting help, you've got all the time in the world. But when I've got something to say, it's not your problem. Well, fuck you. Oh, fuck! Get up. Get up! Don't think so, Bigby. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, all right? For both of us. You know the bastard deserves it. Make a promise to a dying man. Uh, what do you care? Shouldn't you be more worried about yourself here? Just wanted a nice image to part on. Old foundry by the river. All right? Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. You want to finish me off now? Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one? That's what you want to do, right? Well, whatever it is, just get it over with. Ah! Shit, stop! Fox, just stop! <laughs> At least you're consistent. No more games, all right. We both know how this ends. <laughs> just make it quick. I know what I did. <laughs> what? You're just gonna leave me here? You'll have plenty of time to think about what you've done. Fuck you! Piece of shit.
here, all right. Of course. So this is where they've been sending these. Big B Wolf. The Big Bad Wolf. <laughs> You used to be something. They used to fear you. They'd hide anywhere their small shivering bodies would be. some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you've finished, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Wow. What a man. Stealing punches while my back is turned. Didn't your mother ever teach you to fight proper?
Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds. I won't miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. Snow's not here. You're dealing with me now. That may be true, but I'd advise against defying your new boss. At least for the time being. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. Are we clear? How about I bring your corpse back to the woodlands instead? You're not going to kill me. You bet your life on that? Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. Bull shit. I already talked to Georgie. I know you ordered their deaths. Mr. Porgy is mistaken, I assure you. I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will. As long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. And I don't think I'm being unreasonable. If you decide to do something stupid, like murder me, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless. And I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? Because those are two very different things. This is about justice. I'm the sheriff. I have to do what's right. Two people were murdered. And you know who did it. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. You know, I'm actually looking forward to seeing Miss White again. Oh, I don't think so. We're not doing this your way. How unfortunate. I was hoping we could make this work. What are you gonna do now? Rip me apart like some kind of animal? Killing me here would achieve nothing. And what would Miss White think? You show up with nothing but a corpse. No answers, no proof. You'll never know the truth, and she'll barely stand to look at you. This is it for you. You've said enough. 